hey guys i know it's been a minute i'm back um i'm here today doing a tutorial on the middle part bust down uh wig this wig is from beauty louine i'm gonna show you the package and everything else but here you see me plucking the wig it was already bleached uh previously and now i'm plucking the wig so that's what you'll see me doing i'm gonna go in um, section by section and pluck I won't show all of that on here but I'll show you how to pluck your wig and how to get seamless results so that's what you'll see me doing I'm gonna let you guys watch for a second and then I'll come back showing you guys the bag I showed it so fast I'm sorry it's the beauty Louine 13 by 4 frontal I'll put it up in the description. This is a makeup I'm using. I forgot the name of the brand. I'll try to leave the name of the brand in the description as well. But what you see me doing is taking a makeup brush and I'm just going around and putting that all over the front of the cap. Um, we already braided her, molded the Gasta V and all of that. So now you just see me going in. I'm going to put that all over the front of the cap and a little bit back. I don't know why I do mine like that, but I put it just a little bit back just in case. And then you'll see me cutting off the excess cap all around her head. And then we'll proceed with putting the wig on. Now you see me going in, I put some alcohol on that dry towel, cleaned off her uh, lining, and then you see me going in with the bold hold uh, glue, and I'm going to use that, and I'm going to put at least three or four layers. I usually do three, but you can do three or four just to give it that extra little hold. I don't put too much back, but just a nice amount, and you'll just see me going over, and I'm going to do that three times I apply the wig, so I'm going to let you guys watch. Here to showing you the bleach wig and um i put the makeup on the wig already the same makeup that i used on the cap is the same makeup i used on the inside of that wig uh, you see me with the blow dry blow, blow dry some of that glue because it was still white and i was ready to apply the wig and it was taking a little minute so i'm gonna go in just to get some of it try to dry it just a little bit more and i'm gonna go in and apply that wig I put the wig on. I'm sorry I cut that part out. Didn't even know. And um, now you see me putting the serum on the wig. And um, I'm going to put, put the band on there to hold it down for at least like five minutes or so. If that long. Just give it time to melt into that skin, ladies. Now you see me remove the band or whatever and you see that it is melted into the skin and we haven't even got to the great part yet. But now I'm going to cut that lace up in the front just a little bit and around her ears and get rid of the extra lace and that's what you'll see me doing. Now I have gotten all the lace off the wig. Now I'm going in and cleaning up any excess lace that I see that's like it can go or whatever. And then I'm going to put any last remaining glue or anything on there. I'm also going to take out the baby hairs right now and got to be those down as well. Got to be the, uh, that lace into the skin more and just melt it. But I'm going to let you guys watch.
I've sectioned out the baby hairs. I'll have her hold them. I take the hot comb and I put just a little bit of um, sometime wax stick or got to be just to push it the part back so that nothing is flying on top of those baby hairs. I'll have her hold them and I'm going to put that lace band back on there um, as I style her hair. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to curl it and then I'll do the baby hairs.
now I'm going in and I'm getting ready to do those baby hairs. Um, I'm combing out all the little braids that we put in and then you'll see me pluck just a little bit more because it was just a little bit more dense than I wanted it. So I'm going to go in and pluck those a little bit more. Then I'll use my very small flat iron and I'll curl those baby hairs under. Some people do up down it doesn't really matter i just did it down because i feel like it'll be easier to swoop on in a downward motion so you know that's what you'll see me doing but get into that lace guys yes the part and everything haven't even been done all the way but you see what it's looking like your girl definitely is melting the wigs going in with my razor comb and i'm just going of course you see me tweezing the extra hairs that i was just telling you guys about because it was a little too dense for me and i wanted it a little bit thinner but i'm gonna go in with that razor comb i'm gonna cut those baby hairs a little bit short i'm gonna curl them under with that comb the flat iron. i'm sorry y'all i can't talk and um yes get into the look it's definitely gonna be a look and then i'll do the part and everything else so i'll let you guys watch and i'll come back at the end thank you When I'm using a razor comb, I just cut those just a little, you know, I cut them pretty short, but not as short, just in case. I don't want to wind up cutting them too short, and then, you know, it's always better to keep it longer and cut as you go if you need to. But I'm going to take my little flat iron, and I'm going to curl those baby hairs under, and then I'll use the foam and lay those baby hairs down. Now I'm all done curling, I'm going to go in, I'm going to do those baby hairs. I had to pluck a little more hair out of them because they was just a little too thick for me still looking. They wasn't thick, but I wanted them thinner. So I'm going in with my little flat iron. I forgot the name of that brand as well because I think it's kind of like a knockoff brand, but it's a very good flat iron that I got off of Amazon. So I go in with the razor comb and I cut those hairs just short. Um, I curl it with the little flat iron and then I will apply uh, foam on there. You can use whatever you want to do your baby hairs. It's not nothing specific because at times I may use the Gasta B gel, uh, the spike gel, um, or foam. I like them all. The foam do give it easier access to move. So I really do like the foam and that might be what I start using from now on. But Thanks, guys, for watching because this is almost the end of the video. And I appreciate you guys. Come again.
combing out those curls or whatever and now you see me going in with my brand pretty and sleek wax stick and i'm just laying down those extra flyaways i'm gonna uh, use a little bit of the spray by even this is a wonderful uh spray by the way um and i'm just gonna lay those extra hairs down with that high comb yes honey because we need it to be melted her birthday is tomorrow so we definitely gotta make sure she is slayed for the gods I'm going in with a light concealer. I think it's by um, Nika K, the toffee color. And I'm just putting that on her part to define it. Then I'm going to go in with that black spray and that rat tail comb and hit it with the flex. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to let you guys watch. I thank you all for watching. I enjoy my subscribers. Any comments, anything you can do to help, please do. I appreciate you guys. Thank you and God bless.